How does this work? So about a week ago, about a week ago, <laughs> I set up a Reddit called MD Fan Tanks. The idea being that you guys could post your pictures or videos of your tanks in the Reddit and then they could potentially feature on an, a future video. This is that video. How to improve your fish tank. Fish tank. How to improve your fish tank. No, that doesn't sound as good. How to improve your aquarium. I think that rolls off the tongue better. So this new series, how to improve your aquarium, will be me taking a look at your tanks and how to improve them, or if I can improve them, because I've looked through some of them already and they look better than mine. So <laughs> I suppose I could still give my opinion what I would do differently. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Right, scrolling down. First tank, my nano cave. What they do? Oh look, someone's, someone's done the cave. Oh, I missed the cave. Make sure you've got plenty of flow, but to be fair, the problem I have with my cave aquarium was I had like stagnant areas, but then I didn't have any quarries either. You've got loads of quarries in here, and your name is Cat His Fit. No, <laughs> whoops, Calf's Fish. Well done, Calf. Uh, you can see I've upvoted that already. But yeah, that looks really good. I like that. I can see here that your, your plant health is great. So one of the things I would suggest is you get on top of that trimming straight away because you're already at the top of the tank and it is a nano tank so very shortly you're going to run out of space. Also be aware that it looks like you've got some decent sized quarries there so you might want to cut back on a few of them, you know, rehome or retank some of them because it doesn't look like you've got a huge amount of space there but other than that everything's looking good so far. Right, so what I'm going to have to do though is when I flick onto different posts I'm just going to have to zip down because I can't just scroll down because look there are so many guys. I honestly didn't think that there would be this much crazy amounts that you guys would post. Is that English? Yeah, I didn't <laughs> I didn't think you would post this much. I thought I'd have like 10 tanks with you or something. There is hundreds of posts on here. I just can't even get to, to doing these. But we're gonna go through and see what we can do. Oh, well, first of all, look, we've got to have a look at this tank, haven't we? Dirted tank, oh, I just, I've got my best tank in my fish room at the moment is the Nano that you guys have seen. I did it as the front cover of my uh, 10 planted aquarium tips. I'll leave a link to that. My, that was dirted as well. This is dirted. My newest four foot tank is going to be dirted as well. But look at the growth. Look at that carpet. I think that that's Monte Carlo, but it could be baby tears. I'm not entirely sure. But that's absolutely fantastic. It's a big tank actually, to be fair, because look, there's a cardinal and there's a, an angel there. So. Yeah, really great job. This is done by Fal Redmond. Well done. I'm sure I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but uh, yeah, either way, really good job. Upvote. Right, I'm going to zip it down. Ready? Three, two, one. Zzz. This one. Okay, cool. This is a 160 litre low tech tank. Just waiting on the plants to grow to fill the back. Any advice would be appreciated. Well, first of all, what are these purple plants? Because I've never seen those before. Are they real? Let's. If they are, they're probably a form of Ludwigia. Or is it an Alternanthum Renikirna variety? I, I don't know. I've not, I've not actually seen those ones before. I'd be interested to know what they are. But yeah, okay, so what? any advice would be appreciated. What would I do to this one? It depends what you want to go for because some people like this really open look that you've got here. But again, first thing I would do is more stems, definitely on the left and right side. Just more sort of greenier stems like maybe Rotala or Limnophila. My two favourite plants really just because of how easy they are. They're regularly available as well which is good. But I'll put those either side and maybe with them just creeping into the centre behind the rock work as well. Looks like it's going through a little bit of diatom so maybe get a brush onto the, the rocks as well just to clean those up a little bit. But other than that, like you say, more, more plants in general I would, I would go with. More sort of smaller plants to go around the bases of the uh, Java fern that you've got there. I think that would be a good idea. But other than that, time time is on, time is your friend. Yeah, time is your friend there. Right, moving on. Zzz. Okay, it's 36 bow fronts. 36, you've got 36 bow fronts? <laughs> no, I'm guessing that's gallons. This is from Dangerous Ad. Oh, he's dangerous, he's dangerous. First of all, upvote. Oh, okay, this is really cool. Quite like this, yeah. Hey, the, the, plant, the plants in here look quite new I'm gonna assume this is like a new setup so this will get much much more dense as it grows in but a really good start that's for sure oh look at it 
Look at this uh, platy right here. I think it's a platy. Is it? Yeah, well, whatever it is. Molly, platy. I don't know. But he's just standing at the front staring at us. Like, what you looking at? Get out. But yeah, once this all starts to grow in and, and, and cover up some of the areas and get nice and thick in the left and right areas, I think it's going to look really good. I like that. Good start. Strong start. Ready. <laughs> this is a nice little tank. My 55 litre planter tank. Also my first tank. Great first tank. Round of applause. Oh, I'm holding my mouth so I don't drop it because I'm at an angle. <laughs> But yeah, this kind of looks like a biotopy style. If you if you don't know what that is, have a look at biotope aquariums. It's something I'm actually getting interested in at some point, um, maybe in the near future as well. But yeah, it's a it's quite a cool natural sort of look. Maybe a little bit more denseness to it. But I like the floating plants. They've got one of the uh, rings in there that through the fowl horn originally did. I've done it as well in my ones. But trick I suppose is to not let the floating plants get too dense that they block out too much light. But yeah, good start. Well done. Keep it going. Ready. <laughs> My new 28 litre planted tank, two weeks, help me give help me give some depth please, you want depth, okay, well first of all I'd say you need more angle or more height actually to the, to the background, so not necessarily the hardscape, the hardscape's looking fine, if that's what you wanted to do, that's what you wanted to do, I mean for me you've got like a flat top and then a spike top, so the two together wouldn't, aren't perfect, so I would actually, I'm um, pointing at the screen, you can't see me pointing at the screen, watch my arrow, <laughs> I turned, so this point was slightly turned in, only slightly, and you could probably do that now actually, just push down on this side, bring up that side, so you've got like a sort of direction that's pointing this way. That would instantly give you a triangular composition that would actually make it look a little bit better. And then you could probably move these plants here, which is Rotala I think, move that over to this side, and then again continue with that triangular composition, and that should help with more depth perception in my opinion. I'd also get a background on it because it's looking a little bit messy with the, the framework of the of the uh, whatever you've got it on showing. So maybe paint the back black or put some white film on it or something like that. I think that would really help as well. The depth gets ruined um, when you can see past the background but then making anything black it really does add some depth straight away. I like black. <laughs> My Woolstead Method 36 litre, oh wow, look at that guys, that is proper Woolstead. Woolstad, am I staying stead? Woolstad, sorry, Woolstad. Diana, Diana Woolstad. So she came up with the idea of, of using planted tanks like we do today. I mean, people didn't put plants in tanks, I don't think, until she started doing that. That's probably completely wrong, maybe I made that up, but that's how I remember it when I was doing my research. But if you look at this, so yes, it is an absolute mishmash of plants, but how lovely and natural does it look? Everything looks to be thriving and doing really well. So what it is, is a layer of gravel or sand, and then underneath that gravel or sand will be like actual dirt, or as we call it, soil in the UK. I don't know if you call it that anywhere else. Am I knocking the camera? So yeah, we've got Lim the Feeler in there, it looks like, Rotata, but it looks like we've got everything in there, but yeah, really, really good effort. It just goes to show what can be achieved. It looks like we've got a normal desk lamp as well, I can see by the shadow. Love a desk lamp, guys, as you guys know. But great job, really good job. Upvote. There's not enough upvotes on that, guys, so get on the Reddit now and give that upvotes. That is cool. One thing that I do think is a very good idea for this aquarium though is to start trimming it back a bit. Now I'm the I'm the worst culprit for not actually doing that, but it's well worth it. And I am actually gonna start doing that in a lot of my tanks now, keeping on top of that trimming, getting more of a compact look and getting a little bit more order. I mean the plant health is amazing, so it just needs raining in a little bit just to keep that going. Otherwise, before you know it, it's just gonna be only plants and you won't really see anything in a tank. Okay, let's move on a little bit more. Zzz. Nanos, building up the courage and cash to go big. Not a common hobby in Australia, so it's kind of hard to find good plants and hardscape. Just get on with it is my new motto. <laughs> Huge fan. Okay, cool. I like that you've adopted my sort of motto, motto, which is just get on with it. Like there's plenty of times situations aren't perfect, but you just got to do the best with what you've got. And this guy's doing that as well. This guy's called Snoo Upvote. So right, yeah, little desk lamp, brilliant. Got a little air stone at the back, I guess that's a sponge filter that's leading into as well. Oh, there's more. Wait, there's more. We've got several. Okay, that's cool. So you just down at the moment. That is a black. Let's replay that. So we've got guppies down in the bowl. Controversial, but you know, I don't. I think they look like they've got a really nice bowl there. There's not too many in there, which is good. Plants are looking really healthy. I'm guessing you've got some dirt underneath that sand. And then this, this tank is looking nice as well. A little better fish tank. I don't know what that gravel is, is that eco-complete or something? But either way, the plants 
Oh no, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, the plants are looking really good, nice and healthy. Hygrophilia this side, I think. Some Java ferns poking out, looking really tidy. I like that. Algae free, so yeah, really good job. Okay, this could be an interesting one. Siriu Stonescape, 130 liters. So what I would do here, look, you're, you're struggling because you haven't got a lot of stone for the actual size tank. Now in this situation, what I would do is rather than putting it in the corners like that, I'll bring it into two sort of separate islands, one in the foreground and then maybe a, another one in the background, one slightly larger than the other. And you can place some nice wood on top of that then and then plant all around it and have nice open up other areas with no detail at all. That might look really good, especially with that black sand if you get it flattened out. It's probably the most cost effective way of making a large tank look really presentable is to do like the minimalist look which can look really nice and it is something that a lot of people sort of want to go for in a presentation area like say the living room because it doesn't look jungly. Jungly seems to only appeal to people like us. It doesn't seem to appeal to people that aren't really that into fish because it just looks like a mess to them. But what do they know? You know, we'll have to educate them. I think that's the key. Okay, 70 litre Irigumi newly scaped, newly aquascaped Irigumi style tank, not finished. Well, it's a good strong start. I can see you've got your CO2 there. This is the cool stuff from Tropica that you just push the pressurized gas into this chamber and then it slowly sort of evaporates in the water. You don't actually lose any um, by doing it this way either because obviously with injected CO2, the bubbles pretty much rise to the surface, not straight away because you should set it up so they don't do that. But in this way, they just steadily goes into the water column and I've had really good success with these guys. So I recommend giving it a try, but yeah, so we've got a really strong start there. Once that's all carpet, then it's gonna look great, let's be honest. Nice white background as well, good start. Zzz. Do I have to do that noise every time? I suppose I don't have to, but I'm gonna. <laughs> right, here we have got a 60 litre pea puffer jungle, see full image. Ah, oh, look at that, that's really nice, I like this. Okay, so it looks like we've got a decent light on the top there, uh, and it's, it's a bit darker down the bottom, but I quite like that. It's quite a mysterious looking sort of vase. So we've got Java Fern there, which is matured, I can see. This tank's been running, running for a little while. I can see it's looking really good. I think this is some kind of Pogostaman Stella. So, so, you know I'm not good with names, so I'm not even gonna keep trying to attempt them, but yeah, really good look. What I would do to improve this, I mean, you haven't actually asked, but this is what the series is about. So I would trim the Java Moss, which is something I'm always guilty of not doing myself. But I know how quickly now in a small scape, Java moss can go absolutely insane and just overtake everything. So I trim these back, get them really compact. The more you trim Java moss, the more compact it grows. Um, it, it, to the point where people have said, what is that moss you've got to me? And I'm like, it's Java moss. Like, but it doesn't look like that in my tank. It's probably because you don't actually, oh, my laptop's just falling down. <laughs> there you go, put it back. Yeah, probably because you haven't trimmed it enough. That's probably why it, it didn't grow compact. It will grow wiry unless you trim it regularly. Okay, next one. Zoo. Oh, look at this, my 10 gallon tank. I've been wondering what to do with the rocks and escape. I don't want to take too much away from this amazing piece of wood I have. Okay, right, yeah, it is a lovely piece of wood. Here's what I would do here. It's gonna be difficult, because obviously you don't want to mess up what you've already done, but I would bring the wood over to the right just a little bit, so it's not in the center, but it's about this area here. I would put some rocks in this area as well, with plants around it, and then some more of the rocks over on the other side. So that way you haven't got a straight line of rocks because currently, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to do the retaining wall method with the foreground plants and the background plants. But in this instance, the rocks aren't, you haven't got enough rocks to do that. I mean, you could either get more or you could rearrange them so that you weren't doing that style of, you know, foreground, background plants. Because they're similar size as well, it doesn't really work as a retaining wall. You kind of need depth and undulations and that sort of thing. But overall, don't worry too much about that. The tank looks cool. There's a lot of really good, healthy plants growing in there, so you should be proud of yourself. Jerry, up out. Oh, look at this, it's really good. Okay, um, this is Quantum Explorer. Quantum, exploring the quantum. <laughs> Upvote. Okay, 54 litre low tech scape. Lots of trumpet snails. Any advice on lowering the population? Right, so I've never ever kept trumpet snails because I went to the shop early on with a hobby and someone said to me, do not ever put those in your tank. Uh, I, I, I have found a few after um, they've come in on, on plants before, before I used to get the tropical plants, but they never really took over the tank either. So I'm struggling to see any at the moment, but Lots of trumpet snails, any advice on lowering the population? Well, I've always found that my snail population always sort of 
regulated itself because I didn't overfeed the tank. So maybe that's something to look at. Keeping the keeping the tank clean, keeping the 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 surface of the of the sand clean. That's the only thing you can really do is limit the amount of waste, and then that stops the amount of food available for the trumpets now. So there will be babies born, but they'll die off sadly uh, because there's no food for them. In this part of the show, show is this a show? Yeah, I guess this is a show now. In this part of the show, we're going to look at the top rated stuff in the week to give the, those of you that have voted, you know, a chance to showcase what everyone thinks is the best. I, I don't know how that came across, but we're going to look at the best stuff. Well, not the best. We're going to look at the most highly rated stuff. I'll do this each week so, you know, the, the best voted stuff can get a showcase. If you guys make sure that you stick an upvote on your favourite thing as you flick through, that would be great. Obviously, do it to your own as well. <laughs> I think you can do that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so let's go to top. No, that's the top. But if I go to top of this week, there we go. Right, so look at this. My low tech scapes. 18 upvotes already. Look at this. Well done, Mexicats. Really nice. Look, so we've got completely different styles here. We've got one that's just a sort of single island composition. I really like that style. It's something that everyone can actually get on board with. Just look what this guy's or girl has done here. Guys means everyone, by the way. Look what this guy's done here. No, it doesn't. It sounds very masculine, doesn't it? Look what this girl has done here. No, I don't know it's a girl. Shut up. This person has created a really nice corner sort of... So, look, you just a little border of rocks down at the bottom there. I'm pointing at the screen again, you can't see. And then the rest of the plants just exploding at the top. It looks great. Anyone could do this, and then some smaller pebbles in the foreground with a little bit of details in there. Sort of thing you guys should go for. And then a massive jungle next to it. That is looking fantastic. Uh, so we've got some, some of that uh, tiger lotus right in the middle there, which I think is really good, good as a centerpiece in any aquarium, especially when you've got lots of green, and then that one red tiger lotus plant, it just looks great. And then this bottom aquarium, I'm really liking this, because it's, it's really well maintained. Looks like a high tech tank, to be honest. Might not be though, because all the plants that I can see there will actually grow without CO2, just some decent lighting and clean water. I uh, love that sort of pathway in the middle and a completely open foreground. Really, really nice work. What would I do to change these though? How would I improve these? So this top left one, I think I'd add a bit more light, maybe reduce some of the floating plants. It could be, again, just the photography, but also I would like to see this sort of gravel in this area. I'd like to see that tie in a little bit better with the rocks behind it but it's, it's hard to say how I'd improve ones like this this bottom one <laughs> there's no improving that for me I think that looks fantastic it's just a case of letting it grow in more and trimming it up as you are like basically that's how would I improve that time and then the jungle scape one again it's just going to be a pruning sort of thing and just keeping that look I would say maybe reduce some of the floating plants again because you can get that sort of washed out green look otherwise it's good to have some more light poking through sometimes I know how fast those things grow though, so. Right, moving down. Zoop, I've done zoop. Okay, <laughs> chaos, let the plants swallow the fish. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been there myself, so look at that. That's, I mean, if one thing's for sure, you've got a ton of plants to choose from there. And what is brilliant, guys, is when all your plants start floating up, um, floating or growing up the top like that, you can actually start snipping them off and replant them underwater so that they sort of grow into their sub submerged state again, which is great. It's like a free constant supply of stem plants. Thoroughly recommend to get a tank that does that. How would I improve this? Well, a general tidy up. I mean, not, not the top area. I think just this middle section where we're seeing all the Anubias, Keep the Anubis, obviously, but maybe push it back a bit and add a little bit of a light-coloured gravel in that middle area just for an open foreground. And I think that little tame area in that whole jungle would really, really work, I think, other than just looking like a complete plant bomb, which we love. If you love it like this, keep it like this. But if this is in, like, your display area, i.e. your living room or dining room, then, yeah, maybe just just clear a patch in the front area. I think that look that would work really well. Bow front. We've already done the bow front one. And so the 10, uh, 10 gallon nature style, about 1.5 months in, that looks great. Love that. Really, really love that. It's got CO2, it's, it's, it's proper nature aquarium style, but it's in a it's like 10 gallon. So yeah, that's really cool as well. It looks like we've got twin star lighting on it as well, which is, which is why it looks... Yeah. Look, like I've always said to you guys, plants will grow under any light, but certain lights work really well. And there's no denying how good the twin stars are. They just just fantastic lights to be fair and they look so stylish as well see these uprights 
proper, really nice, like solid metal. It's completely different level to to the sort of chin, generic Chinese style ones. I mean, on camera, you might not pick up that, but in person, massively different. But what I'd do to improve this, okay, so I'd probably add in, personally, Limnophila. <laughs> That's gonna be how I improve everything in all of this. Limnophila. But yeah, I'd like to see some more stems in the background, just trimmed nice, nicely, nicely? <laughs> nicely coming down as well. But other than that, yeah, really, really good. Maybe, um, maybe sucking up the foreground there and redoing the sand just to get rid of some of that black. Again, it's not the sort of thing that bothers me, but it would bother some people. Coming down again. Okay, yeah, we've reviewed this one already. Oh, here we go. My first attempt at a bowl, first attempt at anything planted. Set up a week ago. Growth is really good. I already had a tank, but the bowl idea was inspired by you. Oh, thanks very much. Well, yeah, really, really good. Loving that. Loving that so far. I don't know what this floating plant is. It's, it's duckweed. I think it's duckweed who's just got so, sort of condensed and put in from, and uh, they must have put it in there from their other tank, so it's still a bit tangled. Um, but yeah, looks like we've got some, some really good growth going on. Uh, everything seems to be working really well so far. I would probably, what would I do differently? Okay, so it looks like we've got the desk lamp has got like a warm LED bulb. I'd go for the, for the um, cool white LED bulb. I just find that with the cool white, it just gives a far better sort of green look rather than a yellowy look to the aquarium. I just, that's how I prefer it anyway. I know a lot of the Dutch scapes use the warmer style lighting. So again, it's going to be personal preference. It's just what I like. I, I think I, it's because I first started getting into all of this by watching the ADA videos and they always had like a white, white light that made everything really green. So that's, that's my favorite really. Well, look at this one. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> look at that guys. Whoever this is, dirty cake. Hmm, that sounds appetizing. <laughs> Dirty cake, you've absolutely outdone yourself. I mean, obviously full CO2, full everything in this one. Look at how good that looks, the colors. This is a very mature tank. This is the sort of thing that I wanna go for in my middle aquarium, my Asian one that I've got planning, guys. So I think we can do it. I just, uh, I need to just keep it going and not and keep on top of the maintenance and not rip it out after six months. <laughs> but you know I will anyway. That's a great job. I'm not gonna tell you how to improve on that. You're already better than me, so. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that, some nice close-ups as well. Really, really good. Oh, guys, make sure that, I think it would be a really good idea in the future if you post stuff, post videos of your tanks. I mean, everyone's got a smartphone now. I'm recording this on a smartphone. I record everything on a smartphone. Record your video of your tanks. It's so much better to look at. You can see way more. It's just it's just better for all of us in the community. Okay, I've got to move down because it's getting on. Nano Cave, we've done the cave. This will be the final one now, so this is the top five. ADA 45 skate, is that top five? Hang on, one, two, done, three, done, four, five. Oh, we've done five, those were the top five. Well, I've shown it a little bit now, so as a bonus, we'll show you the extra one. The ADA 45 skate, three weeks old. Oh, look at that, guys, absolutely great. And this guy, let's replay that. This guy's using the CO2 system that I've used before, guys, the tropical one. If, you're, if you've not used CO2 before and you want to dabble into it, that's a really good start, I would say. But look how good that looks. Again, twin star lighting is absolutely killing it. <laughs> I don't think anyone can deny looking at these videos that twin star lighting isn't amazing. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, guys. It's just they're really good. I mean, they've given me free lights, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> when you get to the sort of level I'm at with YouTube now, free product, it's, it's not that amazing. You could just buy the products yourself. But... They are amazing. There's no denying that. I keep saying that. No denying. No denying. So look at the alternant from there and the stems. That is Rotala Hatra. And look at how good. I'm talking slowly as I try and remember plant names. Look at how good the Hygrophila pinnatifida is looking. That looks so good there. Hair grass is just fully spread. And you know, three weeks old look at how quickly everything's grown in and that's a result of amazing lighting and co2 so as i've said to you guys before the more you invest the better results you're going to get but that actually applies to anything in life really doesn't it well guys we've come to the end of the first episode of how to improve your fish tank i think that went really well but next time i think maybe i'll structure it a little bit differently and do like a beginner a beginner and oh pardon me there's lunch coming up. Intermediate section, not an advanced section because I don't consider myself to be advanced. But if you want to send in your stuff that's advanced, remember videos, guys, videos work best, then feel free to. Like I say, at the end of each video, I think it'd be good just to do like a, an overall 
best of the week sort of thing. I think that's something to, good to look forward to at the end of each video. But I hope you've enjoyed this one, something new, something a bit different. This is coming off the back of a lot of recommendations from you guys as well. So hope you've enjoyed it. See you on the next one.